Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tech TLDR. In today's SpaceX news update, we're going to be talking about the SN11 static buyer testing that's been going on. We're going to be talking about some tweets Elon Musk made and some other SpaceX related news. It's only SpaceX in today's episode. So if you want to know everything going on in that industry, in that realm of technology, be sure to stick to the whole episode. Drop a like on the video so you stay on the space side of the YouTube algorithm. Let's get into this video and why you clicked on it. So the SN11 today. I should say yesterday, locals in the area got noticed that the beaches and the roads in the Boca Chica area would be closed. That would mean there is static fire testing going on for the S11. However, if we look today, they actually did try to conduct the static fire for the S11, and they aborted it. SpaceX, of course, they don't disclose anything until like a month after it happens. They haven't stated why they had to abandon this static fire test. People have been saying that if you listen to it, which I, I can't really play for the audio, it's just not going to sound right for you guys. But if you listen to it, it doesn't sound, uh, it this doesn't sound like a good static fire. This is from Chris B from NASA Spacelight. That's his video if you want to check it out. But I'm hopeful, I'm really hoping that the static fire didn't dis uh, cause any damage to these Raptor engines. That's been a big problem with the last few static fires we've had. We have, we've seen multiple Raptor engine swaps going into this Starship. And SpaceX, that's a, something they need to correct they cannot keep swapping raptor engines for every static fire and if we look on the closures we see march 15th it's until 3 p.m today and that abort happened at about 12 30 in their texas local time so i don't think they're going to have enough time to repeat the static fire today and i think we will have to wait a little bit longer to see a, a successful static fire test and I, it's going to be taken day by day at this point as you can see locals got they got this notice yesterday and it's the only closure still so it's a day by day closure for testing right now on the NODAM so on the TFR FA's website there was a NODAM for that area for flight and that was for tomorrow March 16th until March 17th on Wednesday that however that's going to have to change but the good news is it means that SpaceX is ready to fly immediately. It means that once they get this static fire, they, it, it works successfully, they're just going to go right to the flight. They don't want to waste any time like they had to do with the SN9, kind of with the SN10, a little bit with the SN10. But it, it's exciting to see that they are they have things in place. The FAA is on their side now, and they want to get right into the flights as soon as they possibly can. More exciting news from SpaceX, though. They've successfully deployed those 60 Starlink satellites we were talking about in the last episode. They have done it again. And this landing of the booster on the drone ship was, it, was its ninth launch and landing. Really big, really successful stuff from SpaceX. Great to see the progress they've made. And that's just how the Starships are going to be in a couple years from now. We will have Starships on their ninth launch and landing. I personally see it happening. Very possible. As I stated before, SpaceX is using the Starlink program to cash flow their business, and that's what's going to be funding ventures to get us to Mars and establish a natural city base on Mars. And if you don't believe me, you don't have to, because that's been some, I wouldn't say controversy, but a lot of people didn't think that Starlink would be used for that. They said, no, 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 that's just going to be for SpaceX. They're going to profit off this, this and that. Uh, so let's look here. Tasmanian com wrote an article titled starlink is key to funding spacex starship fleet to colonize mars interesting article if you read it I'd, I'd recommend checking out what does elon musk say he says yes the guy who owns spacex the guy who runs spacex replied that yes this is exactly what they are doing starlink is i mean of course it's going to provide internet and it's going to help spacex um, continue to stay afloat but more importantly the profits of starlink are going to be used directly to fund starship missions and bases and to colonize mars that is its primary financial focus is to colonize mars as stupid as it sounds so in a few years from now if you get their package the program for their internet just know that every time you download something you're getting humanity one step closer to colonizing mars that's all I have for you guys in today's episode. It's a short and brief one. If you want more of this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like, drop a comment, so let me know what you guys think of this, what you guys have in mind for this SN11, everything like that, and be sure to have a good one.